Welcome everyone to the Great American Wicknick 2020. This is a virtual uh, wiki picnic this year. We've had uh, wiki picnics uh, since 2007 in New York, um, around the US since 2011. Um, and, and this year, because of the situation of things, we are having our picnic virtually. Uh, so we're coming to you on YouTube, we're coming to you on Facebook, uh, and perhaps other platforms. And we're here to celebrate picnics, uh, the Wikimedia movement, uh, and eating together. Um, so hi, I'm Richard, user Pharos uh, from Wikimedia New York City. And I helped organize the first uh, WICNIC in uh, New York in uh, 20, 2007. And we've had one uh, every year uh, since then uh, till 2019. And this year we're going uh, virtual. Uh, so now I'm gonna bring in a few of our guests around the virtual uh, WICNIC blanket. Uh, Sarah, welcome. Hi everybody. Um, I uh, normally live in Brooklyn, although um, I'm upstate on the river right now. Uh, I work with the Art and Feminism campaign on Wikipedia. It's nice to be here. I like picnics. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining us along the uh, the lovely river. Um, if, if people can comment on Facebook or on Twitter or, or, or on Twitter on on uh, YouTube, and we will be able to see your comments. And if we like your comments, then we can put them on the screen. Uh, for example, if they're questions to the uh, panel or if they're just your general uh, picnic sharing. Kevin, welcome. Hi, hi. Um, my name is Kevin. I am a uh, Wikipedian. Um, oh, goodness. I don't think I'm connected. Oh, oh you are. I'm back now. Um, I am a Wikipedian. I've been across the map, but um, I've been organizing a lot of uh, activities across California. But um, due to the pandemic, I am now home in Iowa. So I'm excited to be uh, doing the Midwest Wicknick this year. Thanks. It's very, uh, we're very important to have regionally focused. We, we're, we're the Wikimedians active in local regions of the United States, also known as Walrus. And uh, I'm glad you can help represent Iowa as many of the, as, as well as many of the other regions that you uh, visit. Uh, Phoebe, welcome to the uh, stream, to the virtual Wicknick. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Phoebe. I'm also I am uh, currently at home in greater Boston. Um, I'm outside, as you can see, although that might not last because it's threatening to rain here. But um, I am glad that we're having a picnic, even if it's a uh, scattered remote picnic. So we try yeah, to have one every year up here in New England. Oh. Our picnic's in the heart. So thank you for joining. Uh, Josh, welcome. Where are you joining us from? Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Josh Lim. I'm Sky Harbor on the Wikimedia Project. I'm actually joining everybody from Los Angeles, um, where we have rolling blackouts today, but hopefully that doesn't happen here. Um, I am actually, um, I'm helping out with regards to um, organizing things on the ground here in the LA area. Um, I actually am back only temporarily because of the pandemic. For the last few months, I've been out in Pittsburgh, so I hope to do more things out in the East Coast as well. Um, other than that, um, with the Wikimedians of Los Angeles, I help do things in the Philippines with the former Wikimedia Philippines. So hello, everybody. Um, it is great to see all of you. This is my, um, this is, I think, my third Wicknick um, since I moved out here. Um, but I certainly hope Wicknicks become more popular internationally. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and Wicknicks are uh, embraced in, uh, in France, uh, which is the, the, the origin place of the Piquenique. Um, and we will perhaps touch on that a bit later with Sarah's presentation and, and some, other, uh, some other topics. And, uh, and a few times in other countries, particularly the west of France for some reason. They have the La Cabal, La Cabal de la West, uh, the, the Breton and other Wiki, Wikimedians who for some reason like Picnics. Uh, Dr. X, welcome. Hello, I'm Dr. X. Um, I brought water for us today. Water is also good, so it's important to be hydrated. The, the, the Wikimedia New York City bottle and the Wikipedia picnic. And uh, I have to be inside, so literally, a very important part of the picnic. Um, and I just, you know, since I have to be inside because it is raining in New York City, I am in Queens. Um, I put some plants here to give us a, a feeling of, a, of being outside. Thank you. So I got some more earrings appreciation. Mm -hmm. Some some weather comments. Minnesota's doing good. 
West Coast, be careful, be safe. Andrew, welcome. Oh, hi. I'm uh, Andrew Lee, also known as user Fuzzheado. I am here in Washington, DC. I would be outdoors if it was a little bit better weather, but um, I'm still enjoying the picnic. And I work uh, with Richard at the Metropolitan Museum of Art doing wiki initiatives. And recently I've been doing a lot more with women's biographies. And we just did a recent project with the Asian American Journalists Association to get more biographies about women journalists. So happy to talk about any and all projects related to that. And Will, joining us with a nice thematic spread. Yes, thank you, Richard. I'm tuning in from Brooklyn, Will 540. I have a focus on skateboarding, art, and the local New York City community. Mm -hmm. um, I co-hosted a census edit-a-thon a couple months ago, and we have a COVID edit-a-thon coming up next month. Thanks. Um, I wanted to share a couple of things. Um, so we do have a, a doc for today. So there is a, a Docs Plus system developed by uh, Ed Sapiria, a British Wikimedian, and, and some of his colleagues. And if you want, you can help take notes there. And there are also links there to some of the other, um, uh, to some of the, to some of the uh, regional uh, breakouts which will be happening uh, in the next hour. Um, as well, I would like to invite everyone here, uh, if you're watching, to join the chat. Um, uh, Amir uh, Sarabdani, who uh, is active, is, he works for the Wikimedia Deutschland, and his, in his, in his volunteer capacity, has set up a, a chat instance of uh, Mattermost, which is a Slack-like uh, program uh, on the Wikimedia cloud servers. And uh, I've set up a, a little Wiknik channel there, and you are invited to join today, exclusive to Wiknikers today uh, across the United States, and whoever else is tuning in. So thank you. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit about the history of, uh, of the Wicknick. Um, I might as well share our first Wicknick we had in, in New York. Um, oops, let me just get that here. Ah. In August 2007, we had our first, very first Wicknick in Central Park. It was originally the WIC, WIK NYC, the Wick NYC uh, picnic, uh, because it was. Um, because it was in New York City. Um, it was just an opportunity to meet people um, across New York and the general area of the Northeast um, at that time. And it was our first, um, the first event we really had for become the NASA New York chapter. And it was a good opportunity to meet and get together uh, to throw Frisbees um, and uh, you know things like that. And it, it's been a tradition that we've developed uh, over the years. Uh, we've had um, different times we've had um, in 2012, we had a, a wiki picnic on Governor's Island uh, tied to uh, the uh, tied to Wikimania, which was at that time. We called it the Wiki World's Fair. Um, a bit of a of a of a phony art project where we put uh, bamboo poles and uh, had some um, uh, had some people showing off their different projects from around the uh, Wikimedia universe. Uh, there's Wikimedia Österreich. Uh, there's uh, me and some other folks putting up about uh, from different chapters and folks around the world. Um, and last year we had um, our Wicknick in New York on uh, Roosevelt Island, which is a little island in the East River. And we uh, had a pretty good crowd. We had some uh, young participa participants. There's the uh, there's the, the logo of uh, Walrus, the Wikimedia active in local regions of the United States. And uh, we were able to um, have some strategy discussions as well. So yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a fun thing to do. I wish we could do it uh, do it in person uh, right now. Not quite possible, but um, it's always been fun to go to Wicknicks in New York and also to go to ones in uh, in Boston and DC and wherever else uh, wherever else we can. Anyone want to share your uh, Wicknick experiences or other outdoor uh, Wiki experiences? Perhaps uh, Josh, would you like to share some of your Wicknick experiences? Um, so actually the very first Wicknick I, so I, the first time I wanted to go to a Wicknick was the two, it was right after, um, Wikimania in Mexico city. And what, that was the LA Wicknick. I arrived the evening of that Wicknick. And so I missed it. So what ended up happening was I had to wait until three years later to finally join an LA Wicknick. Um, partially because Julie Farman 
who of course leads the LA user group was egging me to come. So um, it was actually quite exciting to be there. We were all at, um, we were all near, um, wow, the park's name escapes me, uh, Pacific Park. So near, um, park. yeah, so near the La Brea Tar Pits. Um, and Julie asked me to bring food. She was surprised at how much I brought <laughs> um, to the park because we brought um, we brought enough to feed a lot of people. There was concern about leftover food, so I had the, I brought some home. I asked her to bring other thing, um, some of the extra patties and burgers that we had home. But otherwise, it was very fun. Um, I have become a true believer in in Wicknick since then, and I certainly hope that the Wicknick concept takes off, particularly on the other side of the Pacific, because. Well, Wicknicks are not common outside of the U.S. and Western Europe, so we will change that. I think I have pictures here, though. Thank you. Um, okay. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, I will find a way to share it. Oh, here we are. Okay, let's get some of your Wicknick pictures. We gotta get the Wicknick sticks. I know, I know, I know. Nick sticks. <laughs> Sorry, I know, right? Um, hold on. This will. Wow. Okay, it's making me quit Chrome, so, so I will share. I will share later. Um, but I will. Oh, there we go. So Jim Jim Henderson is commenting here. Jim has been a, a stalwart at our at our Wicknicks in New York since two thousand seven. Always brings his little Brompton bicycle. Um, so it's always fun to have. Uh, to have uh, Jim with, with us. Um, Josh, and you also joined the Ohio State Wicknick. You can wait quite yes, far I away. <laughs> yes, I did. I also enjoyed that. I was actually, and you know, props to Kevin and and Addis and everyone who organized that Wicknick. That Wicknick was very fun. I took the bus. <laughs> three hours going, three hours back, and I have absolutely no regrets. It's one you of the best your, uh... experiences that I've had in the movement in North America. Great. Do you have your uh, Do you have your pictures? Or if not, we can move on to someone else. I am having trouble sharing them, okay. but I will make sure that I post them in a readily accessible yeah. place for people to see them. Sure, we'll, we'll get to maybe if you can get the end of the call. Uh, Andrew, you seem to have some pictures lined up. Yeah, I. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't even think about this until Josh started talking about this. But the actual first ever. I don't want quite say international, but I think the first official meetup that Jimmy Wales ever went to was a Wicknick of sorts. So this is a picture from the 2004, June 5th, no, June 4th, June, June something, um, in London in uh, St. James Park. So you folks might even recognize some of the people in the shot here, but that is uh, Charles Matthews. I'm sure Phoebe recognizes him there. Um, so Jimmy's there. This is the first time he'd ever met other Wikimedians in person. And it's just kind of an informal meetup in 2004. I just happened to be in London at the same time and I had never met Jimmy in person either. So we kind of, so Jimmy and I met up first at this hotel and then we walked over to St. James Park and then the local Wikimedians there, or actually there's no Wikimedians at the time, I guess there were Wikipedians at the time, um, decided, hey, let's have this uh, meetup. So you can see um, some of the folks there. And this is kind of our informal meetup there. There's David Gerard, there's uh, Teresa Knott, um, I think James, hey, not uh, James, uh, James Forrester's there. So this is pretty cool. We had beers. There's a trivia contest that Angela Beasley made for us. Um, so I'd, I'd encourage you folks to try that. If you're doing a meetup, try making some games or something to uh, entertain the wiki crowd there. There's the game right there. Believe it or not, these are like wiki, well-known band users in Wikipedia. You have to match them up to what they did to get banned. I think that was the, uh, the game at the time. I wish we still had this. I don't think anyone has a copy of this quiz. It was... Pretty amazing. Um, is it possible to reconstruct that list? Yeah, from the picture, that's a good question. Can we read that? Uh, I don't know if the resolution is that good. The stick, Michael, common sense. I don't know. Maybe someone can use some AI zooming to uh, get that, um, get the details of that. Uh, but you can see some other photos are pretty well attended. Um, there was a recording of it somewhere. So someone might be able to dredge up that recording. Nice. One of, one of the virtues of Picnic, uh, even even the Wicknick Avant La, La Lettre, is that it's a little bit less scary. It's a little <laughs> bit less intimidating. You can come in on the edge and sort of linger. Um, and I found that helpful. Uh, you know, I mean, when we had first had the first Wikimania in, in, in the U.S. in 2006, 
Um, and when we get to if we do the uh, the, the 2006 uh, nostalgia episode, um, I mentioned this, but I was I was a little bit too shy to go. Um, mm. But picnics were not too shy for me, so I could I make. In fact, I was insisted on organizing it um, in 2007. <laughs> so it was, it's it's a nice little and people you know sometimes people linger around the edge first and then they come in slowly. They, it's pretty easy to recognize the Wikimedia, unfortunately. Uh, and for, especially in this in this day and age, it's probably the safest way to do a meetup, right? Is yeah. You're outdoors, you're six feet away from each other or more. Yeah. yeah. We might do something. Uh, we might do something in in uh, the outdoors in New York uh, in the fall, perhaps uh, around uh, Halloween, around the cemetery, some historic cemeteries here. So there are always some more opportunities. Right. Phoebe, would you like to uh, to share? Um. Sure. Let me just get the tab, the right tab open. I've been looking through pictures. So we have had we have had a um, a handful of Wicknicks here in New England. Um, some of them I've helped organize. Some of them um, are a little bit lost to time at this point. We don't have a ton of pictures. So, um, but I'll share. Um, this is a picture from. 2017 we had a pretty nice little group and um richard i don't know if i can zoom in here richard you you came to this one whoops uh you came to this one and um this is your banner from new york city yes. which you are. <laughs> um, right. that because you know wikimedia new england we're a user group here and we work with and support um activities of the universities and places are in this area in greater Boston and beyond, but it's a very uh, loose organization um, and we've never gotten around to making a banner of our own. Um, so you brought us the banner, that was great. Um, let me see, um, I'll share I'll share another, another picture of um, 2016. Um, which uh, was also a pretty good, a pretty good year, although I have to say, um, the only picture I can find of of this of this gathering, um, at least right now, I look terrible in. So, uh, but this was a picnic in the that we held in the Boston Common, and that was pretty fun because um, you know Boston Common is kind of the flagship park here. So we had this right in the corner of where the common and the public garden are. Um, we staked out a corner by one of the monuments, and then we told everyone the directions uh, based on the monument, like find the monument in the park and then uh, you'll find us. Um, and that actually worked surprisingly well. So we've moved around uh, Greater Boston. This was in the common. The picture I showed you before was in um, a park that's up near Harvard. So we've tried different places in the area. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get back to picnicking um next summer and maybe try a different park but we've had at least at least two or three wicknicks in the common i think so um yeah and you know this is a group of assorted people associated with various schools professors students a bunch of librarians are in this picture so um it's a it's a pretty good group thanks Anyone else have uh, some Wicknick sharing to do? Any photos or other stuff? Okay, I think I can like share, share my pictures now. So okay. let me, oh, shall let me share my screen. Um, let's share the application window. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, here we are. So you should see, I hope you can see my screen. So these are some of the pictures that we have from the 2018 Wicknick um, in Los Angeles. So you can see um, we had Julie, we have um, we had Stacy, we have a few of the other LA people. We have people from all over. We had people come from as far east as the Inland Empire, as far west as Vin um, as far west as like Ventura County, and so it was fun. Um, we had we had a bunch of dogs that came in. Um, and we had, uh, where was the food spread that I had? We actually, I think it's still transferring, but we did have, um, we actually didn't, I brought a lot of food from the Philippines because it was my first, I figured, you know, usually when I come to Wikimedia events, I try to bring things from the other side of the Pacific 
because it would be something that I think people would enjoy. Um, I would. Uh, I think I brought here. Um, oh, here we are. Okay, I'm gonna try sharing this just so. Unfortunately, when things are on your phone, things transfer very slowly. But I'm hoping that it transfers fairly quickly here. But uh, okay, there we go. Um, I will probably share towards the end of this call. But I did bring a lot of Filipino food, and I will show you the stuff that I brought. Um, but I will also make sure that some of these pictures are uploaded to Commons so that people can see them. Thanks, Josh. Um, anyone else want to share anything about uh, about outside uh, Wiki meetups, uh, Wiknik or otherwise, or perhaps your first meetup in, meetups in general? Um, I should mention that uh, so part of the 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 uh, the purpose of the Wiknik is to encourage meetings beyond picnics. Um, <laughs> back when meeting was a thing, um, back when that was uh, possible, and hopefully it'll become possible again uh, in more significant ways, uh, not just virtual. Um, you know, we had. Uh, so we, we first had our the, the the national version of the Mucnic in 2011, um, and it was sort of uh, it was it was it was it was on the the, uh, the central notice banner, uh, a way to encourage people to to come together, and we used it as a bit of a prototype to launch the uh, the first Wikipedia Loves Libraries event in uh, in October of that year. Um, so there's a very strong connection. There's a bit of a uh, secret agenda of the Wicknick, uh, which <laughs> um, we shared at the time. I think I think Dominic McDevitt uh, Parks or Bird McDevitt now um, spoke. I shared that in the the Washington Post uh, uh, interview at the time of of just sort of profiling the different uh, Wicknicks in, in the first uh, national year. I think we may have uh, user Peace Ray joining us from Cascadia. Uh, if you can join, uh, please uh, click the link and we'll we'll uh, we'll let you in. Um, and uh, if uh, if not, uh, we're gonna just go on to. Uh, feel free to share any of your questions about how to organize a user group um, or how to have a picnic in your area in the future. Back when when things are, are a little bit more organized. Um, but I think I think for now uh, it might be good to move on to our main presentation. Um, we are a uh, we are a very culturally advanced encyclopedic group, um, and we and we honor art and culture in our society. And uh, we have an artist in residence for this uh, for this Great American Wicknick 2020. And that's uh, Sarah Klugich, and uh, Sarah has a has a presentation about uh, about picnics, uh, free knowledge, and society, and their history in in art. Uh, so, if you want to perhaps uh, prep your uh, presentation, well, we can enter that shortly. Um, yeah, what a great intro. Uh, so, my name is Sarah Klugich. I want to. I'm an artist and an art historian. I work on the intersection of food and art. So, um, being like a, an artist in residence of Wicknick is like my dream job. Happy to be here. Um, and I am gonna give just kind of a brief rundown of picnics in art history. Um, I'm going off a Google slide show and I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, yeah. So the slides publicly available, the references are in the comments on that um, in case you wanna know where images came from. Most of them are, are on Wikimedia Commons, but not all of them. So we'll start from there and then I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, okay. We good? Yeah, okay, great. Um, so as a couple of people have mentioned, um, picnics are kind of a European deal, um, especially just the word picnic. Um, so this will be a, a largely uh, French, English, and German uh, featured slideshow. Um, and I want to start really before picnics invented, uh, were invented. Obviously, people have been eating outside for as long as there have been people in and outside. Um, and in that sense, pic picnics are nothing new. This work is by the Netherlandish painter uh, Peter Bruegel, the elder, and it shows field workers on their lunch break probably eating um, a standard farm laborer's meal of bread and cheese or what's now called a plowman's lunch. But simply eating outside is different from having a picnic. The word picnic has a definite history beginning in the 17th century in France and the meaning of that word has evolved over time. So let's advance. Um, picnics are primarily 
an aesthetic experiment experience, I would argue, and they have contextual roots in art history. Before the 19th century, picnics and European art tend to fall into one of two categories, the pastoral and the bacchanal. The Renaissance in particular loved a good pastoral, like this Titian from 1509. A pastoral depicts a pasture, uh, open land for grazing, and the shepherds, herdsmen, and other country people who populate it. The pastoral scene carries hints of Arcadia, which is a mythical state from classical, classical antiquity that's characterized by peaceful simplicity and humans living in harmony with nature. And of course, it's a mythical landscape, so it's uh, a cool choice here that the men are clothed while the women are naked. Women in this uh, genre are aligned with nature and fertility, and men are aligned with civilization and the arts, which is just a cool choice that we've made as a society. Uh, speaking of mythological scenes, Feast of the Gods, painted by Titian's teacher Bellini and then later altered by Titian himself. It depicts a scene from Ovid in which the gods are having a picnic. Jupiter, Neptune, and Apollo are all in there. And away at the side, you can see Priapus, the god of fertility, lifting up the robe of Lotus, a sleeping nymph. In Ovid's story, he would soon be interrupted by the braying of the wine god Selenus's pet ass, that donkey there, which makes Lotus wake up and all the other gods laugh at Priapus. All the gods have, you'll see have bowls of wine and some platters of figs, just kind of classic god picnic. The Bacchanal, however, is a party. Uh, Bacchus is the Roman god of wine and his followers, the Bacanti, have these drunken and licentious revels that celebrate him. The picnic food you'll notice has gone up several notches. We've got huge game pies, oysters, an entire lobster, and people have largely dispensed with drinking from bowls uh, in which you would dilute wine by mixing it with water and are instead drinking just straight from the amphora. The closest you'll get to that kind of fantasy luxury in real medieval times is a royal hunt. This tapestry is an 18th century retissage from an original design made by the painter Bernard van Orley in 1535 for the Habsburg Emperor Maximilian. It's unusual because while hunting tapestries were common in the 16th to 18th century, they almost all concentrate on the hunt itself, awesome, pretty gruesomely. Uh, but in this one, Maximilian is seating, sitting down at a white tablecloth table in the forest, waiting to be served a light snack on gold and glass dishes. In the foreground, you'll see a servant is pulling wineskins from a stream where they've been cooling. The royal history of fancy outdoor meals becomes a political touch point when we get to picnics proper. So no one knows for sure where the word picnic comes from. A common speculation that you'll find lots of places, including the picnic article on Wikipedia, um, asserts that picnic comes from the French piquenique with, words, with roots in the verb piquet, which means like to pick or stick or grab, uh, along with the slang rhyming edition, neek, meaning something small or insignificant. The first time peak neek appears in print, in print is in this French satirical play from 1649, Les Charmants Effects de Pericade ou l'Amitié Durable de la Compagnie de Frères Bacchic de Peak Neek. In the play, the character Peak Neek is a military hero of the Fronde, which was a military uprising in 1648 that aimed to defend the autonomy of the Parliament de Paris in the face of creeping royal tyranny. But Piquenique's proto-democratic ideals are belied by his delight in large meals, which makes him kind of a hypocrite when you consider the widespread food shortages that were caused by the Fronde. This play makes fun of Piquenique's gluttony, but a half century later, a French dictionary adds a definition for Piquenique, and by then, the word has lost any trace of condemnation. In 1694, a picnic is a fashionable but not extravagant meal um, to which each of the diners contributes some food. Importantly, it's uh, considered like a low-key party that eschews the glamour of the royal court. Through the 18th century, the picnic is, however, still an aristocratic or at least a high bourgeois affair. It's quite different from our modern idea of a picnic. These picnics take place indoors. 
largely at that newly invented establishment, the restaurant, and attendees pay a share of the cost. Picnics are associated with the liberal salon culture of France, and they feature intellectual conversation and poetry and music. And they're considered to be a somewhat more reasonable alternative to another type of party, the fête champêtre or garden party. These parties, such as this one painted by Watteau, could be incredibly elaborate, like um, full fancy dress balls with like uh, and a complete orchestra that's hidden in the trees. And at court, hunt breakfasts are also getting more elaborate, having essentially become fête champêtre. Here we've got tables, chairs, silver dishes, and a full crowd of people. And looking at that, I can feel the French Revolution just waiting in the wings. <laughs> and indeed, after the revolution, royal parks are opened up to the public and French people take up the practice of picnicking themselves. So, where did the exiled French aristocrats take their picnic? Like England, mostly. In 1801, 200 wealthy young Lon London people with pretensions to French aristocratic life formed the Picnic Society. This club held their meetings in a tavern like most London clubs did, um, to which each member was required to bring one dish and six bottles of wine. During the meal, they put on plays. They were amateur productions, but they were also funny and they became very popular. So popular that Richard Sheridan, who owned the Drury Lane Theater, tried to get them shut down, leading the characterist James Gilray here to make this unflattering drawing of Sheridan leading his righteous army of professional actors. In the meantime, picnics were enthusiastically adopted by middle-class folks in England and America. 19th century economics in these places included a rise in mercantile trade and an influx of wealth into colonial imperialist nations, giving the bourgeois class more leisure time and more money to enjoy it. Rapid urbanization and industrialization also made the countryside seem newly appealing. From then on, picnic scenes take another turn towards wholesomeness and the peaceful pastoral. Along with new Victorian ideas about childhood as a time of purity and imaginative play, picnics become associated with children. In this Frederick Goodall watercolor, a fête champêtre scene is reimagined with children as the revelers. I think we might also consider the Mad Hatter's Tea Party part of that, a surreal nursery tea that is taken outdoors with animal guests, a picnic by any other name. But picnics retain an ambiguous morality. They are an outpost of civilization in the wilderness and escape from the norms of house or city. No better example than Manet's Déjeuner sur l'herbe, possibly the most famous picnic painting we know of today, uh, which was an absolute scandal when it debuted in 1863. Manet had an antagonistic relationship with the Académie de Beaux-Arts which organized the annual salons in Paris, and he made this painting specifically to mess with them. The Academy valued mythological scenes, history paintings, above the realist scenes that Manet painted. So Manet took a classical mythological scene, pastoral concert, which you'll remember from 10 minutes ago, and reimagined it as a modern setting. In that context, the presence of a single nude woman is shocking and her cool level gaze at the viewer enhances that effect. The Academy rejected this painting for its salon and Manet instead exhibited it in the first ever Salon de, des Refusés, where it was a true success to Sandal. In the 20th century, picnics have appeared more in photography and film than in painting, as you might expect. Picnics remain dangerous. And for evidence, I submit this photograph of the lunch counter for bears an event at Yellowstone National Park between the 1920s and 1940s that grew into a nightly event. Park rangers would collect the park's daily trash and deposit it in a central location so that visitors could come and watch the bears eat. At its peak, an estimated 250 bears would picnic on a stage while tourists watched them from opposing bleachers. As you might imagine, the bears got more and more used to humans and started attacking cars and people looking for food and the lunch counter show was eventually shut down in the 1970s. In film, picnics have retained an aura of moral and sexual transgression. In this famous car picnic from To Catch a Thief, Grace Kelly offers Cary Grant 
cold chicken from her picnic hamper, slyly asking, do you want a leg or a breast? He wisely lets her choose. And picnics still carry a hint of danger. In Picnic at Hanging Rock, a film from 1975, a group of Australian schoolgirls in the year 1900 are escorted to a Valentine's Day picnic at Hanging Rock, not knowing that while they lay the day away there, three students and one teacher will mysteriously disappear. That Picnic at Hanging Rock was remade in 2018 for Amazon Prime seems to suggest that several of its central picnic ideas remain relevant. The romanticization of the countryside, young girls who court danger by venturing outside their homes, and a horror of true wilderness. In the movie, the girls butcher a heart-shaped Valentine's cake, and in so doing, they reveal the greatest danger of picnic. Ants. <laughs> Bravo. I guess I'll start with <laughs> back. Thank you so much. Awesome. Is, you made my virtual picnic dreams come true. <laughs> Absolutely. So glad to have contributed. <laughs> this is so interesting, Sarah. I uh, have never thought about um, picnics through history, but it really resonates all these themes, right? That we've uh, we've um, adopted. I'd have to add on to the Phoebe to what Phoebe said. You know, I never thought that we could you'd be continuing such a long, veritable tradition of outdoor eating. <laughs> so, can I can I kick us off with a question, Richard, for Sarah? Please do. I'm I'm curious. Are all picnics potlucks, or I mean, in the modern sense of picnic, like, do you think those concepts are tied together? Um, I do. I do think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the like kind of common, most common definition of a picnic is like a meal that's shared as part of an excursion. So you go somewhere, you bring food and you bring food to share. And I, it's an interesting history, right? That like the first picnics were just indoor potlucks and then they become kind of like cost, cost sharing measures and then go to outside, but no cost sharing. So like there's a real range of meanings there, but I think in modern times, it means you bring something to share. I think it's weird to show up to a picnic with like one sandwich and people are like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, and the picnic is very much the picnic that anyone can edit. That's the, that's the idea. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, and it's and related to those ideas of the commons, right? That like you're meeting somewhere on a land that nobody really owns that belongs to everybody, whether it's a park or kind of unenclosed countryside. Um, and I think, you know, Wikipedia as part of the digital commons is like part of that proud history. And I was glad to see in the uh, in the that some of some of the uh, at least some of the history of picnics is, is tied to the uh, the French Revolution and and uh, some of the great royal states that are open after 1789 and of course uh, Diderot is that era as well so it's nice to think that the encyclopedics and the, mm -hmm. the picnicists have uh, have that in common. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'd also share that um, I guess some of us have been looking at picnics as well through Wikidata. I made a I made a little query for uh, for for picnics for today. Uh, if people want to look at uh, the picnics on these picnics and other eating parties because they weren't they were only they were only a few picnics I wanted to include other eating parties too. Um, so we can share that on Wikidata and hopefully we can build some of them out. Hopefully people can follow some of your presentation and and find some some additions to the picnic article. Hopefully some additions to the potluck article as well. I've been looking at the potluck article. It's very poorly developed. It's, it needs a lot of help. Um, I think that you should probably work on um, translating the picnic article to most like we don't have one on the tagalog wikipedia i might do that today oh so i guess uh andrew was, has another version of the uh, the the picnic uh, depiction if you want to share it share it right now i put it on the screen yeah we're just i'm just looking at artworks that depict um picnics well, not just artworks any works that is pic picnic some of these things we just added but this is just a, a good rundown of some of them and then the notes we've also kind of noted but correct a lot of things because for discoverability wise, sometimes things are like the the eating party and not just eating party or a eating party. And if you don't have those those as alternate labels in Wikidata, they're not found. 
So uh, that's, I'm sure you've seen as well, um, that these are complications we always went into in terms of matching titles of works. And let's let's see if we can increase the number of picnics on Wikidata. <laughs> so if you could, if you, people in the Somerville Paintings Project, if you want to mark some paintings and some other artworks with the Picks Picnic, let's see if we can increase those numbers um, out there. Uh, so please, please do that. That might be a good way you could contribute to. Um, I want to introduce a couple of new people who've, who've joined uh, who've joined the stream. I'd like to introduce uh, Rosie. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. So glad Hi, to Rosie. be here. And uh, and Peace Ray, who I think uh, is not uh, doesn't have video, but has sound. Uh, that is correct. Um, but uh, you were sharing uh, some experiences about your initial picnic uh, in, with Nick, and I, I wanted to share mine. As, uh, you know, I uh, started editing Wikipedia as a part-time reference librarian at Hawaii Pacific University, and never met a fellow uh, Wikipedian or Wikimedian uh, in the entire time I was in, in living in Hawaii. Uh, and as a, a reference librarian editing Wikipedia, you can imagine that I really kind of specialized on citations. Um, and uh, my very first WICNIC uh, was, was in Seattle. I arrived in Seattle the day before the WICNIC, and I, as I walked into the WICNIC, people were talking about citation templates. And I have thought, <laughs> I have met my people. So I just wanted to share that. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Peace Ray. Peace Ray, I, I have said for many, many years that you can spot Wikipedians from, you know, 100 meters away. Um, <laughs> they will always, always, at some point in the evening, be talking about copyright. <laughs> <laughs> and those are templates. Those are templates. So, um it is nice. It is nice to get together with people who have such niche interests. Um, and I think the real genius of the picnic, too, Richard, is we do all this work on our computers inside, you know, and this is really changing the space in which we all get together, even even when we even when we um, get together in other ways for edit-a-thons, it's usually inside because of Internet and computers and books. But but the picnic is really just taking those Wikipedia conversations and putting them in a totally different location. Yeah, sometimes it's nice not to have Wi-Fi. <laughs> At least in the early years, that was the case. I don't know about now, but any other any other picnic questions from the from the uh, from the commentariat? <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. Um. Um. I, I don't know, Sarah, but my guess, um, were you able to find anything about picnics? Like, you know, um, I was remember, I remembered I used to be in a football class in Europe and they were talking about like how there were, let's say, Asian analogs to picnics. Are you able to find like something, let's say, like from ancient China or from the Middle East or something of the sort that might have been analogous to a picnic to a, a picnic in the European North American sense? Um, I didn't concentrate on those examples because I wanted to follow the etymology of the word picnic, um, which is French to English. Um, but of course, yeah, like, you know, people eat outside all the time. Um, I do think that there's kind of an interesting, uh, like a meeting point there in the work of Gauguin, who um, painted a lot of like the first to kind of um, paint like po proto picnic scenes in a Western art history context, but with Tahitian subjects, I would follow that line back um, if I were to go any farther. Thanks. Well, uh, I'm coming to you from Reno, Nevada, which is really close to the Loyalton fire. I'm not sure if that's made national news or not. It's about 48 hours old now. And if I had wanted to have a picnic in the backyard, there's no way I can do it because it's um, you don't want to be outside. The smoke is so bad. In fact, a moment ago, there was a thunderclap, and that is coming from the fire having generated its own um, ecosystem, um, including thunder. So you might want to look that up. Loyalton. <laughs> Yeah. I want to start the article on it if it hasn't started already, and I wish everyone better picnic weather. 
um, <laughs> particularly, particularly, you know, avoidance of, of fires. Uh, so I, it is shared on the screen. Uh, if anyone wants to edit the doc, there's a, we're, we're, we're trying out this Docs Plus, which is a new uh, project started by uh, by Wikimedia and Ed Superior and some other folks. Um, and there will also be docs for the uh, the regional breakouts. Uh, if people will follow the regional breakouts, we'll probably uh, start them in about 50 minutes. Most of them are on Zoom. Um, you can reach all of them. They're not, they haven't been started yet, but you can reach all of them by going to these handy dandy URLs. Um, so nyc.wicnic.org, west.wicnic.org, Midwest, New England, uh, et cetera. So you can go to those in uh, about 50 minutes when we get started. Um, yeah, and oh, I, I, have, I have a trivia question. Um, let's see if anyone, we have a lot of very uh, skilled Wikimedians and Wikipedians. Um, can have, we had a, 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 a piece of a, a Americana related to picnic baskets uh, that's on English Wikipedia uh, that was uh, put up for deletion in 2008 and that survived. Uh, can anyone find it? <laughs> <laughs> if you can, um, there's probably one or two people who can. If you can, feel free to find it and post it in the comments. Um, anyway, uh, I also wanted to share, let's just share the chat in case people haven't been able to reach it before. This is the new chat platform uh, that we're premiering today, thanks to Amir Sarabdani, who set it up. Uh, there is a Wicknick channel. Um, I'd also say that uh, we're hoping to do a series of events. Um, as we approach uh, Wikipedia 20, the 20th anniversary of Wikipedia, um, which will be in January. Uh, who knows uh, if anything in person will be possible then? Probably not. But we will have uh, events online, uh, perhaps events like this, but become more elaborate. Uh, we have a proposal for a week countdown to, to Wikipedia 20. Uh, so if you want to join that, um, you can go to wiki20.org. And that is also, of course, a redirect to Meta. And you can uh, learn a little bit more about that. And we also have, for, for folks in the US, uh, we have quite a few people on this call join our regular uh, monthly calls uh, for Wikimedians active in local regions of the United States. Um, our next call is tomorrow evening at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, you can look that up on Meta. Um, we don't have the information there yet because I've been busy, a little bit busy, but uh, we will have a presentation uh, and discussion a bit about, um, about the, the, Wikimedia fan, the Wikimedia global uh, strategy transition. Um, hosted, I think, by Sherry Antwine, who's, who's our uh, representative for North America. So you're welcome to join that tomorrow. Any other uh, picnic stuff or other stuff? So I, 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 again, I have a question, I think, for Sarah, but also for everyone, which is, as a thought experiment, what would be the perfect picnic? If we can imagine next year, if we can host Wicknicks in person again to get together, what would really make the ideal best experience with Nick? Obviously, no forest fires, uh, Rosie. <laughs> weather all the way around. I feel like that's a criteria. Um, but what else? What really makes a good picnic in your in your mind? People. Yeah. Yes, they yep. do. To, you do have to invite people. We found that to be a or, problem. Or bears. <laughs> bears. Bears are nice too, as I learned. Bears. I'm I'm really questioning why they thought that was a good idea. Having <laughs> you'll have to go big, it you really know, with events trip, like right? this. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly hoping that if we're going to have a picnic next year, we have as many people and as many bears as possible. Can we do like we have the get? Can we can we have like a Guinness record for like the world's biggest picnic? <laughs> Uh, we'll have to get yeah. more organized than we usually yeah, we'll are. To, we'll have to compete with Lodovic with the world's biggest photography composition. Sorry, what were you going to say about oh, bears? We'll have to, or, oh, we'll have yeah. to compete with Lodovic for the world's biggest photography competition with the world's biggest picnic. I think that what we're learning is that um, in previous years, the only Wicknicks we had were basically when people physically came together, but they were then isolated, kind of, it was like a stove piped Wicknick. And this idea of being like virtually connected with all of you is really cool. So I, I'm not in your town and I'm not in my yard and I'm not in a park, okay? But it's still pretty good to be virtually connected with you. So. Um, I guess I'm saying people are, for me, what's what's making the Wicknick. Yeah, and I hope next year when we have can have stuff, you know, like, you know, hopefully we can have comfortable stuff. We Hopefully, you know, maybe there won't even be that much social distancing necessary anymore. Um, we can have picnics in person and maybe have them 
record around the same time and also have it online. So there's a connection between the different picnics in the different locations. Um, so hopefully we can just make a find a good common time that works for everywhere in at least the U.S., um, which would be impossible. But let's we can try it anyway. Um, it'd be nice to have games. We've had things like Scrabble in the past. We've played the Wikipedia of the game, which was a promotion made in like 2012 or something. We had to guess which were the most popular Wikipedia articles in 2012, um, which is always fun to play it like several years later. It only came out in one edition. Um, it's a, you know, we had a lot of fun. We played with Frisbee. Uh, we, you know, often met new folks. We, we had people, we talked to people going by about different language editions of Wikipedia. I met someone who was interested in Mongolian Wikipedia um, at, at the Brooklyn Wiknik once. Um, I talked to someone at the last year at the uh, Roosevelt Island uh, Wiknik about uh, Yiddish Wikipedia, um, a guy who commented on the difference between the academic and vernacular Yiddish um, and what was being used and, and a little bit of a concern. This is a guy who, uh, who spoke the vernacular one, but also knew a bit the academic one, and uh, and 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 his friends in, in in the vernacular community were not uh, were not comfortable using the Yiddish Wikipedia because it was in a more academic style. So you always learn some some new perspectives from the Wiknicks and the, the introduction to the general public when you have that big faint sign like we, we brought to uh, Boston. So that's always a little bit fun. Yeah, I would I was going to say um, signage is one thing that I would recommend to everyone. Uh, you bringing up the signs those couple of years really made a difference in helping people find the Wicknick because I think it is, as we've said a couple of times, it is a interesting way for new people who maybe haven't met any Wikipedians but don't necessarily haven't been able to make it to an edit-a-thon or you know maybe are shy about coming to things. Um, it does help you, it helps you meet new people, but you have to make it accessible, right? And so labeling yourself, especially if it's the middle of the summer in a, a busy pic public park where there are many other picnicking groups, um, we found to be very helpful. And um, organizing food, I would say too, uh, because it's, it's hard to know what to bring to a picnic where you don't know anyone. So I think having someone on top of getting that going um, is helpful. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking about all those hunt pictures you shared, uh, Sarah, of the big spreads with the covered dishes and whatnot. We've never had a picnic like that, but maybe it's uh, something to aspire to. I don't know. What I've learned from looking at all those pictures of picnics is that the one thing you need is ice cold champagne. Excellent. Absolutely. We've been really remiss on the champagne. Local I wonder if you can have a picnic in Rosie's backyard. And the wind. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like oh. in in uh, Reno. So I'm going to go inside because it's raining and there's thunder. Um, yeah. That's well, stay safe, safe, Rosie. Yes, they say. And I hope everyone, there's lots of natural disasters around the country. I hope everyone, uh, everyone uh, stays safe. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, yeah. Have, uh, okay. No, no, no. Since you were discussing, since you were still discussing science, I actually remembered the first meetup we ever did in the Philippines, which was in 2007. And this is where I realized that, you know, the importance of science years later. Um, so it was in 2007, we were at a Starbucks. And, you know, in 2007, well before the pandemic, it was crowded. Um, we had no signs. The only thing that I brought with me was a, um, at that time we were working on setting up the chapter in the Philippines. So I brought paperwork for um, setting up the organization and the front cover had the big Wikimedia logo. And that was the only way people found, um, people found where I was sitting when we were having the meetup. And so we, real, um, we decided later on if we're going to keep on doing this regularly at the very least you need to have like a sheet of paper that says wikipedia it may not be like a big tarp it may not be a backdrop but at least it's something that shows that we are there yeah yeah those pop-up banners like uh, richard was showing have really worked out well for for us uh because they stick up but mm -hmm forethought. So I think there's a nice balance between planning ahead and having the spontaneity of a good picnic too, you know, because really, you know, you have to have good weather and everyone has to go. So I think that's a sense of 
fun that we bring to our picnics too. And I hope that we're not too too in, ensconced in, in nationalism. I want to share the stroke waffle, which is the traditional Wikimedia dessert. It's of it's of uh, Wiki Dutch origin. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a stroke waffle now. I will offer it to you virtually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if anyone else has some picnic foods or some picnic like foods, I invite you to have them and partake of them as well. As we we close out the national segment, we are going to transition to the uh, <laughs> to the local segments. Please have your bagel. Oh. Um, Hold on, I will be right back. I have ketchup chips, but for everyone in the call, <laughs> I do have smoked salmon with Will's bagels. <laughs> so, right, it's just too bad we couldn't bring these together. Um, instead, they're separated by three time zones. Uh, Is there any cake around? Uh, I have my cake in the kitchen. Yeah, so I can go get. I can go get. I had to move inside because it is raining here in Boston, so I can go get my cake. Um, but it's all right. Yeah. Here we are. So we're, yeah, we're going to transition a couple minutes to the regional Excellent. breakout. We don't have one for the southeast yet. Um, if someone does want to host one for the southeast, it's not too late. Um, so maybe maybe something you could talk about before we transition, Richard, is if, uh, you know, next year, if uh, things are more stable and we can get together in groups again, um, how would someone go about organizing a new WICNIC? What's the what's the best way? To do that? Um, yeah, so put something on the, the WICNIC talk page. And yeah, and so uh, Ryan mentions, or Rhododendrites mentions a very good point that people should feel free to join whatever regional uh, WICNIC they want. Um, so you're, of course, welcome to join the New York one, um, nyc.wicnic.org. You're welcome to join the New England one. The West Coast one should be a big one. Uh, the Midwest. Uh, feel free to share, join whichever one you want. And you're all invited. They're not like, you know, and there's no way we restrict them. They're not meant to be restricted. Uh, so please, as, 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 as when we close out, feel free to join them all or as many of them as you want. You can even go to several of them if you like. Oh yeah. Okay. So Kevin makes an excellent point here. Uh, Midwest, mid best. <laughs> Kevin, are you setting up? Are you setting up a picnic then for the Midwest? I, I, I the, other, the other Kevin. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope that Kevin shows up, but uh, but I will be I will be doing the Midwest one. Yeah. There's Kevin's census on this on this point that Midwest is mid best. How about next year if we do have a Wikimania, that we do a Wicknic during Wikimania? And that's going to, therefore, have a lot of people in person. But there's all those people who can't be there in person. Maybe they can just be part of the WICNIC. Yeah. I would encourage a WICNIC. The only possible deterrent is that the weather in Bangkok is awful. It is 90 degrees. It's, it's tropical weather. So it can, be quite, it can be quite humid. But I do think that having a WICNIC during Wikimania would be a wonderful idea. Well, let's try to make it happen. So I asked that question just to point out that there's a there's a meta page that Richard has going and a page on Wikipedia, on English Wikipedia too, I think, about Wikinics in general. And it's a very, like most things in the Wikimedia universe, it's a very low-key uh, setup. You um, pick a date, you make a new page and add it there, and, um, and that's it. And then try to recruit people to come. So I've... Uh, and right, we've got wicknick.org there. So um, like I said, uh, the virtual wicknick is amazing. And hopefully in the future, when we're able to get together, we can host more wicknicks. So. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start uh, transitioning. If people are hosting them, I encourage you to open your Zoom windows in case anybody uh, starts, starts uh, wants to visit in. Um, any final uh, wicknick thoughts? Uh, as we close out the national part, and as we as we begin the um, begin the uh, begin the regional part, it was really nice to see you all. Thank you so much for your presentation. Right, Sarah, yeah, that was, was a this is going to be a Wicknick for the ages. So you know, thank you for setting this up, Richard. It's been great, and I'm sure it'll be very memorable, even if we're all not physically together. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for coming from your Wicknicks across the United States. Um, I'm admitting people into the New York one now. <laughs> and yeah, and, and please feel free if you have, if you've been thinking about having a meetup in your place, uh, in your part of the world, uh, feel free to get in touch with me and some other folks in the Walrus Committee. And uh, we are very glad to host, uh, help support you uh, having your Wicknick uh, next year.
we hope we can have you all join in the future. All right. So, so we're gonna end this broadcast, right? And yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Feel Bye. free to log off. Bye. Misty can join here, and I'm gonna end. So goodbye, everyone. Thank you.